My eyes are just like squinting because the light is just in my, the sun is just in my face so much. Can you see it squinting? Hey family, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm just gonna try, take it a little slow today and let you guys know who are my nine favorite YouTube channels, how I got like introduced to them and why I love them so much. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so number one, John Gray. I first got introduced to John Gray about a couple years ago. Um, if you guys know Elevation Church, I'm gonna talk about Elevation Church next. And they had a Code Orange revival a few years back and I first got introduced to John Gray through that Code Orange revival. Yo, the only thing I can say about John Gray is that he is truly gifted. He will make you laugh. Like you feel like you're watching like a regular TV show. You're not bored when you're watching his shows. I, the reason why I love John Gray so much is because in his sermons, he has this level of transparency where he puts you and him on the same level. And I really respect that because it's really rare to find that from pastors. And you won't really know what I mean unless you actually go and watch his sermons yourself. Like he will let you know the sins he's struggling with. He will let you know, um, you know how it was to go through depression, how it was to go through a time where even him and his wife thought about getting a divorce. Like there was all all these things that he would open up himself with and I really respect that Steven Furtick ah, I love Steven Furtick okay I was actually introduced to the whole like YouTube church that's what I call it um through Steven Furtick so I always felt like reading the Bible was dead like it just felt dead to me I didn't really feel like it was life and that verse that always says for the word of God is life um, and how wisdom is life. I, I, I couldn't really relate to that because I couldn't understand what that meant. Guys, he will literally take the most seemingly insignificant verse and make it so meaningful to you. Like all of a sudden I'll find myself going through something and I'll be like, Jasmine, cast on away your confidence for out of his recompense of reward. Jasmine, you who live in the shelter of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. In my walk, I found myself quoting scripture that before I either didn't understand or just felt insignificant to me. Michael Todd, yo, a moment of silence. <sighs> yo, Michael Todd is so fire. Y'all gonna hear me say that all of these people are fire, but Michael Todd, that is Transformation Church. I recently got into Michael Todd because of his um, relationship goal series and that series Everyone who is watching this video, I encourage you to go and check out that series. It was so bomb. What I really liked about Michael Todd's sermons is that he really digs deep into that topic. Like his, his series will be at least like maybe six episodes. And it's so good because he covers so much thing. things you don't even think that he would cover. Things you didn't even know existed to be covered, he would cover. Like John Gray, he has this level of transparency. And I remember he did this sermon called Before the Person. He was like, your marriage will reveal your singleness. Your, your marriage will be just as good as your singleness was. And I was like, that's, I was like, that, that that particular episode and that series like in, in its entirety, it helped me so much. It, it inspired me to embrace my single, my season of singleness. Like before guys, y'all already know if y'all watch my best friend tag with my girl Monique, I was always someone who was ready to get married by like 22, have my kids by like 23. And that was always something I look forward to. I got so excited to find, you know, my husband, my best friend, my man of God. And when you're single and you've been single for a while, that is a struggle because everyone and their ma is with somebody. And it really inspired me to say, you know what? I am going to fall in love with my father before I fall in with my heavenly father before I fall in love with any man. No matter how cute he is, no matter nothing. God bless you. Go your way. If you're not my husband, then bye. Always. Like, mm -mm. it really inspired me. Joseph Solomon. Joseph Solomon was one of the first Christian, well, nah. Joseph Solomon was the first Christian YouTuber that I ever came across, and this was like at least five years ago. He's been on YouTube for about a couple years now, a while actually, and he covers pretty much every aspect of the walk of a Christian, especially that of a young person, and that's what I really like about him, simply because he kind of shows that it's not old-fashioned to love Jesus. 
Number five is the Bible project. Now, if you're someone who struggles with reading the Bible and you're someone who doesn't know what's in Deuteronomy, don't know who wrote Lamentations or what it talks about, and Isaiah just seems like a bunch of like French to you, then the Bible project is a perfect side dish to the main dish, which is the Word of God. Basically, it's two people, well, there's a team of people who actually like help facilitate the work of the channel, but it's two main persons, they're both guys, they're both Christian, and one of them, I don't know the other one, but I'm sure that one of them, he studied Hebrew. You know when someone talks, and as they're talking, there's a person behind them like illustrating what they're saying through pictures and stuff like that? That's what they do. And it, it's so entertaining because it's like you're watching a TV show, and it's so good. And number six would be crowned in faith. So crowned in faith is someone that I've heard about, mm, came across recently actually, like maybe only three weeks. And it actually, I, I came across it after starting this YouTube channel actually, which is kind of, it, sorry, my glasses. This channel guys, it is anointed. There are Christian YouTubers who talk about things like, oh, you know, things I struggle with, sin, you know, which are important topics. But there's very few who will go into the deep spiritual stuff like spiritual warfare, the power of prayer, that stuff, prophecy, that stuff that we don't really talk about because it's so biblical and spiritual realmish. But through her YouTube videos, they've really helped me really understand that realm of my faith, if that makes sense. Number seven is wonderful acts. So I stumbled across One Little Ox because it was like in one of my suggested videos and I don't know the girl's name but the grasshoppers are just, they have an acquire right now. Anyway, I don't remember her name but when I first started seeing like her videos by the title, How God Gave Me a Job, How God Gave Me an Apartment, I was kind of like, mm, okay. But then as I really started to just go like delve into her videos, it, I was shocked. Like, the, her stories, her testimonies are so powerful. And it just showed, it taught me something, you know. A lot of times... And it taught me something. A lot of times, it's so easy to look at other people, and I do this too, but I'm like checking myself every time I do it because it's not right. We look at other Christians, and sometimes we get so jealous of their walk with God or their relationship with God, and we're like, oh my gosh, like how come they're so close with God? How come they hear Him so clearly? How come they get so much and they're so blessed? But one thing I, that this channel made me realize, among other things, is the fact that we get as much of God as we give. It's like any relationship, and I think we tend to forget that. When I listen to these YouTubers, they always talk about how much time that they spend with God. And again, they don't say it like, oh, guess what? I spend this much time with God. But they'll be like, oh, well, you know, um, I just came off of a 40-day fast. Or, or, you know, I just, I, I, I spend every morning with God and this is my morning routine. It's not to say that doing those things necessarily make you a good Christian and God will just reward you because you're doing so much. Because His word, His love, it can't be earned. But it is just to say that because they embrace so much of God and they welcome so much of God into their life and they give so much of themselves to God it really inspired me to realize that the, if I want more from God and I want to see his hand more active in my life I need to let go of some more stuff and I need to give him more stuff and so wonderful acts is a definite definite channel if you just want to see how God can work in someone's life and how we can work in your life I will definitely encourage you to go there so number eight is love michelle Anna. listen this girl she is so i admire her so much her story is one of pain and triumph because she lost her husband a couple years back or a year and a half ago and she's young i think she's only like 26 but to see just how she's still so for god and she still is so inspired by him and in love with him and her testimony about that whole like chapter in her life it was really inspiring she's still into fashion she's still into makeup she's still into pop culture it's like it's like you can have both you can still love to be looking nice and being on fleek but still have a love for jesus it's just that your love for jesus is what kind of manages everything else to make sure that your life is acted in accordance to god do you know and Talking about her will take me to my very last one, which is Milena, and I cannot pronounce this last name because she's Brazilian and I honestly don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm just gonna say it. Cicotti, Kiss Cicotti, C-I, 
C-I-O-T-T-I. She is amazing and she's also a really popular Christian YouTuber and the same thing. She shows that it's not old fashioned to love Jesus. All these YouTubers are young, they're like under 30 guys. And she's like beautiful and her fashion is amazing and she does vlogs, you know. She'll do like videos on morning routine with Jesus and um, basically how to pray, you know. Things like, um, she shares her church notes on YouTube, which I think is a really good idea. And I recently saw, I was thinking about doing like a worship series where I kind of just show you guys or let you listen to like my most favorite worship songs, but I wasn't really sure how to like do that. And then I saw that she has a video that literally says worship with me. And she has like the music playing in the background. I haven't watched it yet, but I see like her little like recorder thing machine in the background where I'm guessing, I'm assuming that she played the music. And I love her just for that. Hey, 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 I don't know if you're a squirrel or a raccoon or a bird, but I'm gonna need you to just keep it down a little bit. Oh, goodness. So, and then the dog started. Yo, this is so funny. Okay, and that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe so you get to see like more videos. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you want me to cover with regarding like the spiritual walk of faith, the spiritual walk of faith, you know, questions, concerns, things that you go through. I hope that this kind of gave you a little bit of a, oh my gosh, I need to watch that channel. I need to go to that channel. So that was my goal. And now I'm going to go watch Korean drama. So love you. Bye. See you in my next video.